Oh, I just wanted to explain um, how my little string drum thing here works. I've had a couple of people ask, and it's super simple. Um, so I figured the easiest thing would be just to make a little vid. So as you can see here, it's just a bunch of guitar strings strung across these brass posts. There's these little 3D printed things that kind of guide the strings. And they also have little bits of fabric shoved in them to try to dampen the strings because it got a little bit annoying when they weren't dampened at all. You don't really want to hear the noise from it, you just want the MIDI. Um, right, so these are all connected to, I'll flip this guy over here. They're all connected to these guitar tuning pegs. And the way that they're connected is really simple. There's just a wire that's going to the Raspberry Pi Pico housed in here. You can see it's sticking out a little bit here. Um, the wires are going from the Pico all the way over to the tuning pegs, which are then just ratcheted down on a stripped portion of the wire. So no soldering or anything, it literally is just force. Um, and then the string is just connected via you know the tuning peg itself so that's wound super tightly around the peg um, which provides a pretty good connection and it seems to work out pretty well um, under here i've got some more little 3d printed tpu things to hold the uh, drumsticks which we'll get to in a second these other 3d printed parts are just basically protection um, for some of the sensitive stuff or stuff that like to stick out. Um, one of the things that I messed up at first was having too much friction where the string comes through the backside of the device. So originally I just put two holes in wood for each string. But then when you try to ratchet it down, the string would often just break because the friction was just too high. I could never get it tight enough on the post on the upper side. So I 3D printed these little plastic things that kind of keep it from turning at a hard right angle. Um, they're okay. Probably better just to redesign how that routes in general, but this seems to work so far. Yeah, it looks like I even used a little nut here for this one. So yeah, let's flip her back over. So, the strings, how they're routed, is uh, pretty simple. They're just coming up through holes, over across, down through a different hole, and then on the back side is where they get routed out to their respective pegs. These little brass things, I kind of hammered into little holes. I think I bent these by hand um, and then hammered them into holes and super glued them and they seem to hold so far. Um, but these are just to redirect the force to the tuning pegs to be, you know, lateral instead of coming directly down into it because it was impossible to tighten. It just kept trying to come back off the peg. Um, these buttons are just connected to extra digital pens of the Raspberry Pi Pico. I've got them just changing the bank. Well, not the bank. I guess they just go up a note or down a note. So I use a drum rack in Ableton with this. If I click up, then it just shifts all the notes up one. Um, and this knob is for velocity, although I don't even think I ever programmed that in. So I'll take a look at the front. a couple of ports here um, at least one of them is just a mistake <laughs> and doesn't do anything this one's just a hole doesn't do anything oh no no no! I take it back the, this one's the mistake the whole um, one of these goes to a foot pedal which can be used to trigger a kick drum and then the other one is just an aux port 
I'll go ahead and plug that in. Um, and this is connected to ground on the Raspberry Pi Pico. So these brass rods have ground. And then when you hit the strings, it just completes a circuit. And this little metal thing is just an extra thing connected to ground. Um, basically just uh, in case I wanted to mess around with adding any other accessories, but I have not at this point. So I guess in summary, just think of it like a regular MIDI controller with uh, six buttons for the strings. Um, I'm just going to ignore these extra buttons for now because they don't really matter. Um, so yeah, yeah, you know, find any tutorial for making a MIDI controller with buttons, push button switches, and just replace those switches with these strings. And that's pretty much it. Wow. So the two biggest benefits I found with this kind of setup is one, it's more fun. The strings are really bouncy. Unlike, you know, a traditional rubber drum pad type thing. Um, and the other thing is it's quieter. It's quieter than me banging on like MPC style pads or you know, pretty much any other MIDI input device that I'd use for drums. Uh, the downside is there's no velocity control. So the velocity is set, I think, to 120 in my in my setup. Um, I thought about using like a piezo disc to try to get some sort of velocity stuff going on, but I never really pursued that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. <laughs>